Live from Austin, where Dennis Miller visits conspiracy cons and teaches you, babe, lucid dreams give your life multiple reshoots. <laughs> and it's going to be a great night. Now, finish playing your monster pinata game and open up your dream faucet. Because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Oh, he shit, be shit, shit, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, finally, yeah, yeah, we get yeah, to resolve yeah. this. Resolving it. We've been talking about this for a long time. So long. You've got some interesting theories. Theories. Are you comfortable sharing with our audience? Audience. Your belief as to what Eddie Grant's 1982 single hit Electric Avenue is really about. No. <laughs> I can tell it's too sensitive. It's too early. You, you, you a lot know. of personal thoughts. <laughs> well, I mean, Walking uh, straight down to <laughs> emotional torment. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, which of the lyrics upsets you the most? The one that takes me <laughs> higher. <laughs> sure. sure. Yeah, all right. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> hey, you... You can only say no, right? <laughs> you know, you might I, as well ask. I might did, as well jump. I did. I did. I did ask uh, Chat GPT, "What's a song about?" Just now, and it, uh, apparently there were riots in. Uh, is it Brixton, England? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. Apparently, he was. Apparently, somewhere in those lyrics, we're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue, and then we'll take it higher. That was apparently him saying. Hey, everyone, please stop rioting over racial injustice. Wait, please stop? Yeah. According to ChatGPT. So we're going to rock, because that's just making shit up. The title Electric Avenue refers to a street in Brixton, South London, which was known for its multicultural community and vibrant market. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep, that's it. Eddie Grant's 1982 song Electric Avenue refers to the Brixton riot, although there was actually little riot in Electric Avenue itself. There was a little riot. Uh, there, 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 there was, was little, little riot. There was little that riot. would be the equivalent of <laughs> me saying, "Like, please, uh, nope, nope, <laughs> no, finish it." Wasn't there a commercial, Be you Brad? <laughs> Let him finish. <laughs> what? No. What would be your version of a pop song that had a riot involved? Please stop punching everyone in the preschool. <laughs> <laughs> because very rarely do people go around punching everyone in a preschool. Yeah. Yeah. Who sang that one? Me. <laughs> oh, just now. Brian Brush was yeah. famous <laughs> pop hit. Please stop punching everyone okay, in the all preschool. Right. Shall we from the from the top? From the top. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Drop in my kids Wait, off hold, and hold, take it. No, no, no. <laughs> we all remember that there was that big intro. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh big uh uh, uh like <laughs> And then Eddie Murphy was like, uh, uh, Eddie Murphy? Yeah, there was the intro. <laughs> it was mostly in the music video okay. uh, of this Brian Brushwood single. Yes. Uh, it was just like, uh, uh, where are we, a preschool? <laughs> uh, and then uh, a uh, big intro. Bah. Driving my kid up to daycare after work, a uh, nine to five job. <laughs> uh, please don't punch him. Because I care whether or not we can hobnob at our next party. We're talking don't punch kids at my kids' preschool. Preschool. God damn it. Fuck it. <laughs> and then, of course, it was John or Candy. It was John Candy. <laughs> he's like a, an employee at the school. And he's like, like, is this a preschool or a preschool? <laughs> <laughs> And then go. <laughs> Trying to eat my bologna. <laughs> Drinking juice from my thermos cap. <laughs> Other kids, they are punching. <laughs> Meanwhile, I want to sit on mom's lap. Hey, don't everybody punch kids at the preschool. <laughs> because that's a real problem. <laughs> Cut to Robin Williams in drag. Yes, uh, sit on mommy's lap. <laughs> <laughs> This is a star-studded music video. This is like fucking man. Gr yeah. Eddie Grant can pull yeah. the talent. I tell you. <sighs> oh, oh. We're gonna keep going. Okay, sure. Act two. <laughs> 
go. Let's go. Second verse. Say it as the first. <laughs> This is this is why I should never I should I should quit. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. <sighs> hey, Brian. Hey, man. Never quit. Listen, I was thinking never about quit. Look, uh, I'm just. We're gonna keep doing. I'm it not gonna the lie. wheels fall off. I've been driving around looking for some preschool. Because <laughs> I was looking a bunch. <laughs> uh, going up right. All right. Anyway. Uh, hey, Bryce. First topic. All right, first topic. Push up progress. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. fuck. Oh, Brian. shit. When we left, last left our hero, Brian Brushwood. Wait, no, no, hold on, hold on, no, no, no. Before, hey, before you do it, before you do it, before you do it. There could be more dead air. No, 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 no. Uh, Brian, how many push-ups have you done up till now? I have refused to do any push-ups off camera because everyone's going to accuse me of lying. Of lying. So right now we can all decide either I did a billion push-ups or I could get through another 150 okay, plus but, but, tonight. So how many have you done now? Don't uh, we, you, everybody, it's on <laughs> video. Don't you? The it was 150. Answer. Okay. Okay. 17. So are you, are you saying now, are you committing now that you will get through all the push-ups on great night programming, either here or the bones? Certainly on video because nobody could take that away. Okay. I, I mean, until chat GPT figures out how to make okay. it. So just so we we are there, so now you are going to go from 152, which is where you were last week, and you are going to make your way higher, as as if this were electric. <laughs> and then I punched punch the miner. Yeah. <laughs> Until I punched the miner. <laughs> punch the uh, miner. <laughs> uh, so now, uh, of course, you were doing this because you were looking to bring attention to world's greatest world's con, greatest season con three is season out. three. It's, it's quite good, and I promised that. Well, I would do- how about you recap what's great about episode Don't three while, while you do more push ups? Yay! No need for me to stay. I just threw it away. So, what happens in the, in the episode, Brian? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, um, uh, okay. This is what happens when your face is on the album art. I, I, I uh,. Uh, somebody has to, I don't trust you to count, but I also need to talk, um, oh, I don't know, I begin with suicidal ideation, as one does, 13, 15, uh, 22. Uh, uh-huh. and then what happened? Uh, then, then oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get to 20, alright, uh, and 20, there we go, okay. Um, yeah, man, uh, this was a big episode, it was very sensitive and open and honest, and, um, one of the things I like about it, he says, as he recovers his breath, is the <laughs> fact that you were very delicate in nudging me where it's like, yeah, man, look, we're writing these episodes and it just seems like we don't have a good intro for episode three. I forget what our what our initial intro was, because we, we we did a few false I, I think false, it was, I think false it was about like, I think it was that dream going bad. We tried was, Oh, that was for this season. Yeah. Oh, that, that makes sense. And we also tried on one where I was, you know, talking to Future Penny or whatever. No, we actually, we never got to that. That, that, was, that was an idea that we had. I don't think we ever recorded anything for it. But yeah, no, I think that this one, the initial intro for it was your dream going bad. And then we, it was Christmas, actually. Which shows you how fucking callous I am as a goddamn fucking Oh, yeah. Human. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. uh, for anybody wondering, our producer, Justin Robert Young, yeah. at Christmas, yeah. kind of walks up and says, yeah, listen, I'm thinking that um, <laughs> episode three needs a little something. <laughs> Ooh, shush, you know? You know hey. a little oomph. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if only you wanted to talk about your thoughts of suicide a few years ago, <laughs> maybe that would be, I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. I, who knows? Uh, uh, it's an open room. <laughs> this is not <laughs> untrue. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I forget where it was in the process, but it, it was, was definitely, it was definitely were... during Christmas uh, because we weren't able to make it to Ohio. So we had a little Christmas dinner and a bunch of people yeah. wound up coming over and it was a really fun time. Hey man. Uh, <laughs> but Brian and his whole family. I've been thinking about Brian and his children. <laughs> I've been thinking all of about his children were there. This podcast. And I was like, yeah, anyway, <laughs> let's really focus on what's important what? on this 
Christ's birthday with <laughs> surrounded by all of our friends and family. What, what's funny is that's not the part I found weird. What I thought thought was weird was you visibly salivating as I recorded it. That was that was a little all bit. All right, much. all right, all right. But it's <laughs> it's a it's a very good episode. It's very earnest and honest, and it begins to introduce. A very for the record, I, I only asked Brian whether or not he would be comfortable doing it. Although I did suggest it, and you did salivate. <laughs> I did not salivate. Well, I mean, okay. When, when, I, when, I, when, when I was when Sorry. I was editing, it's, when I was editing, yes, I'm like, it started, this shit is too it good. It started yeah. raining inside the studio. <laughs> That's what must have happened. <laughs> uh, uh, I yeah, no, I, I think that it was it was the right moment for what I think wound up becoming the theme. Of the episode, and I think we had edited enough of the episode. Well, and, and and also this is the turn in the episode. Like we've seen a linear up, 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 and this is where things get complicated. So it makes sense that we would tell a personal story that was complicated. Yeah, I think uh, by the end of episode two, our our two main characters, uh, Steve and Mike, are uh, realizing that their hoax to hoax everybody uh, into believing that they are psychic, uh, only to then humiliate the people that are trying to make their living saying that we have found definitive proof of psychic powers. Th they realize uh, in internally, oh, this is going to be difficult. There's going to be a moment where a car crash is going to happen. Uh, we see in episode three, the car crash happen in, in multi-phased uh, versions. And I think it was very, very brave of you, Brian, to thematically set what that kind of shit means with a personal story. Uh, one quick out of school share that I'll do is uh, the whole theme of the opening segment is about how you get the tide, uh, the rush of dopamine, but then when that tide recedes, you're left feeling hollow and empty, mm -hmm. right? And uh, so we have for eight months been creating World's Greatest Con season three. Yes. We finally launched that baby. Yes. And then seven days later, we find ourselves doing the cleanup work on Saturday and both of us for, walk in. For episode three. Yeah. For episode three. And uh, there's this moment where, and I forget which one of us said what, but one of us sighs and the other one says, when the dopamine tide recedes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go about the hard work yeah, of standing no, the, the line. The, the line in the, in the beginning of, of episode three is, so, it's Brian, and so it's, it was me at lunch doing a Brian impression to Brian of a line that he has, like, so... You have a plan for a thing, you do a thing, you feel great, but then you feel empty. Like, like, and so that that was that was what we were that yeah. was what we no, were we feeling. were living that experience. That's what I am feeling right now. There yeah. is there is a lot of postpartum depression. World's about greatest show. con season three. It's quite good. Please share it with everyone you know. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna it, do it, it's ten my, more push-ups. Yeah, it's my favorite episode. And as many people have said to us live. On uh, uh, the internet, no price. Please play that. Yeah. Um, uh, we, we play Ali Gertz's covers, uh, so you know that uh, Brian is doing push-ups. Thirty. I'm at thirty. Uh, it includes a supremely fucked-up story that was very, very hard to get right for the show because it is both extraordinarily sad. It is a sad story but it has a moment in it that might be funnier than anything we've ever done in any incarnation on this show or it, it has is done the definition anything. of tragic comic yes yeah. like a man has a nervous breakdown and comes his pants and then comes charging out of a room <laughs> screaming i've had a demonic ejaculation and points to a wet spot yeah. on his pants that's, that's that's why the episode is called demonic it's called Spoiler. demonic because which is funny <laughs> meryl goes into this dream on monday and he's like how close did you come to making to calling the episode demonic ejaculation and i'm like meryl it's called demonic <laughs> like the only we part i one word in away. was what come <laughs> yeah it's a good show but anyway I, uh, uh so yeah uh listen to it uh please tell your friends and uh yeah there we go Price. Price next topic. Price, price, price. It's tax day. Oh, welcome to the world's happiest segment about the fact that you do taxes. Guess what? You can file an extension. It's easy. Makes things go away forever or six months, whichever <laughs> comes sooner. Brian, what an absolute dereliction of responsibility. 
Go that on. I also participated <laughs> in. <laughs> Fuck you! I get an extension on my homework. My my. I my, called my accountant. Uh, or I, I I just emailed my accountant. I'm like. Not doing it. <laughs> and they were like, uh, would you like to call to make a new appointment? And I'm like, I'm going to delete that email and pretend I didn't see it. Uh, uh, I'll get to this when I get to it. It, uh, it, was, it was a bit wild to try to explain this fundamental truth to my 19-year-old who opened an LLC so that she can make art commissions or whatever. Uh, and then also made like $200 at a part-time job over the summer the previous year. So she's all the way freaking out. And I'm like, yeah, or don't, or whatever. They're not going to audit you. Like, all these things. Th these are not what a, a, a detail-oriented 19-year-old is prepared to hear. Yeah. And then uh, uh, I thought I could kind of blow everything over. And then Bonnie says, oh, by the way, I found this. It's a IRS form for the uh, uh, merit-based scholarship that our daughter got. And I was like... Uh, yes, could you please file an extension immediately for my daughter and Penny? So, anyway. Hooray for Sorry, procrastination. She has to file... I, I don't think I filed my own tax return until I was, like, out of college. Well, uh, 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 she received some kind of scholarship-based discount, something or other, and, and in the five digits based on merit. And so now, all of a sudden, that is real assets of value. And so all I saw was... Things are now complicated. Cause this to go away forever or six months from now, whichever comes first. Yeah. yeah. Bryce, uh, did, did you do your taxes? Yeah. Bryce, did you do your taxes? Moving <laughs> 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 <Hang> on. <laughs> Bryce, are you fucking snipes in it? Moving <laughs> <Hang> on. <laughs> Is no, wait. Hey, no, uh, Bryce, yeah, you're, you're, not, well, you're, not, you're not snipes in, are you? Well, hold are on. Are you no, out of your snipes in? No. Okay, but uh, are you fucking big snipes in? I'm I'm talking out of. Are school. you never betting on black? <laughs> what? Or always betting on black? I'm always betting on Bryce black. confessed yeah. to me that he is a sovereign nation and is not yeah. obligated to. This pay motherfucker's for trying to blade. <laughs> I'm blading over here, dude. It's a bad move. Don't try to blade. <laughs> but I'm the daywalker. White men can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> can't jump these. Financial literacy. Yeah, course. I know. Uh, if I just shout Blade 3, that doesn't count. Does Blade 3! Okay. Ah! It, it worked. It does. It, 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 it should have done it. Blade 2! No, it nah, didn't work when I did. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah go back about the way you, you did. can't go backwards. Hey, Bryce, next story. Take that back! Critters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Raise your hand if you got critters in your backyard. Uh, I got two, only, three hands up over yeah, here. That was a metaphor for an STD. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. No. Uh, 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 I, I have a very short Critters story. Critters in your backyard. <laughs> yeah, you know. Sounds uh, like a B-52s lyric. Ahead, double down. <laughs> Critters in your backyard. <laughs> Critters. Raccoon. <laughs> rabies. <laughs> Did you say rabies? <laughs> Dude, my story is so dumb now. <laughs> tell it, tell it, oh, it. tell it, uh, tell it anyway. Tell it. Uh, 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 basically, uh, 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 I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna bail on that story. Uh, I got a phone call from a medical provider who wanted to uh, had important information for me about my uh, uh, blood test for colorectal cancer, and I was like, oh dear, yes. Uh, what can I do? And they were like, well, it's just that it's so complicated. And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And it's like, well, we want to tell you about the results of your colorectal cancer. But, well, uh, it, uh, it turns out it may cost money. And I'm like, uh, that's... To tell you results? Yes, yes. Like, they literally were holding the results of my colorectal cancer screening hostage for money. Uh, and they said, uh, well, <clears throat> do you make less than $75 billion a month? And I was like, yes. And they're like, oh, then that will be anywhere from $25 to $75. And I'm like, uh, that's fine. But I took the call in front of a friend. And so I just say, just tell me whether or not there's a lump in my butthole. <laughs> uh, and they said, well, I can't do that. But thanks. I'll have the doctor call you. That's a better story. The other story was about a lizard. Did it have a lump in its butthole? Uh, well... I'll tell you, how much money do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Price, next topic. No, wait, we got critters. Next topic!
Eric. <laughs> Pies things. <laughs> You, I'm going to do some push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> what? Brian's going to do some push-ups while I explain that on our podcast, Weird Things, that we have with Andrew Main. Brian made a bet that the Starship, the SpaceX Starship, would go to space twice uh, last year. Oh, no, no. Uh, my position was that it wouldn't do it. No. Okay. Yeah. 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 Andrew Maine said that it would yeah, go yeah. to space twice. Yeah. Uh, it did not. That meant that Andrew had to pay a, a, an amount to charity. I forget the, the amount. Five, 500 $500 to the charity of Brian's choice. And, and also, had to take a pie in the face. Yep. So Andrew then rolled on in and said, hey, what if we went double or nothing? <laughs> I would spend $1,000 for the charity of your choice or take two or and take two pies in the face if... Space or Starship does not launch at the end of this month. By the end of April. We are currently at April 18th as we are recording this. And while SpaceX does have FAA clearance to launch, their first launch was scrubbed. And their next potential launch date is 420. Nice. Hitler's birthday. That was the very first one, huh? Yeah. First, uh, first thought. So, <laughs> the first wow. one. Brian, how do you feel about your ability to gain $1,000 for the charity of your choice and two pies in the face of our friend, Andrew May? Look, man, I'm all about scientific progress. I'm all about humanity going to the stars. But I also definitely texted both you, <laughs> everybody, a picture of the cancellation and a picture of two pies. Uh, I am 100% <laughs> here for this. Are you feeling confident? No. You think it is going to launch? Uh, you're going to lose. Look, you, you, you are going to gamble he, that a pie in the hand was worth two in the bush. Okay, look, I don't know whether or not all of the smug satisfaction of seeing two pies uh, go into Andrew Main's face, because we all know what's going to happen next. He's going to double down again. No, you got to call him. <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, I do know that right now is where I'm living. And right now, I'm very much enjoying holding over I'm two gonna, pies. I'm going to say this. I'll be upset if it launches. <laughs> and if it does not, and you win, uh, I'm going to enforce my authority as content warden and say, no, we are getting the content out of this. Okay, can, can we intentionally wait until he proposes another double or nothing and then reveal that I... Uh, uh, Whatever the whenever the content warden needs all, to roll, all of in. a sudden, yeah. C Seal Team Pies kicks in the doors, <laughs> yep. takes out Andrew Maid. I have I have, I have a duster made of YouTube stats, <laughs> and, a, and, okay. and, and 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 a hat made of uh, embarrassing memories that you can't scrub from the internet. Oh, interesting. Scooper Nova content, girl in the chat Sheriff. asks, uh, we I don't think we settled on what happens if it explodes like three inches upon no, takeoff. No, it has to make it to space. Yeah, Making it, it, it The Carmen space. line. That was yes. our... Yeah, it got that it. Was, okay. that, that, that is the Vegas so threshold many pies. there. So many pies. If it makes it to space, then you get nothing. Yeah. I think Could I get, get a pie to the face in that case. I think I would volunteer to take a pie. Really? In, Somebody's going to take a pie the to the content face. warden now has a new... <laughs> <laughs> a new target. Yeah. All right, we're, get, we're gonna get a pie on camera. If it's the last thing I'm I gonna do, do some push-ups. <laughs> Why don't you? Here we go. Reconcile how to play that track while also introducing our next segment. Okay, Brian's gonna go down, and we're just gonna look at him. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Brushwood is doing push-ups. I think he's done seven so far. That's seven. Matt Forty. Matt Forty. We're good. We're good. So you're at one ninety-two. Nobody can count that. One ninety two. Next topic. Bryce, next topic. Ethnic I AI jury. I, I like the idea of ethnic Al jury. <laughs> I, I saw Al. I saw Al and I was like, ah, that's how, not it. How would how we, uh real quick, Brett, live on the record for everyone to hear, what would ethnic Al jury sound like? <laughs> Peg! Hey That'd buddy! It. <laughs> it's yeah. me, hey, buddy. Ethnic Al jury. Peg! Yeah. Peg. Peg. I like that. Ethnic Algeria. Yeah. Uh, white, white. Wednesdays on UPN, Ethnic <laughs> Algeria isn't taking no guff. Peg! Peg! 
<laughs> Everybody screams. What? Uh, what is this? Ethnic AI jury. I don't know. I don't know about this AI art. Okay. So somebody, very nice person, I believe his name is Unsafe DB Levels on the internet, made a AI version of album art for We're Not Wrong. Yeah. The podcast that I do with Andrew Heaton and Jen Briney. Live show this Monday at the historic Alamo Draft House in South Lamar. Get your tickets at Eventbrite. That is Monday, April 24th. Yep. I don't know what it is about AI art, but I suspect that AI makes me look more ethnic than I do in general. But How? I don't know, so I would. I, I, I'm wonder. I'm throwing it out to the populace whether or not it makes me look more ethnic. Uh, how ethnic do you perceive yourself to be? About fifteen to seventeen percent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how 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 ethnic is Brett? Zero. Wow. How ethnic is Bryce? Okay, Bryce, get yourself on camera. That's like. He's he's like what like Nikki Haley is polling. Like it is like like <laughs> like eight eight to nine percent depending on the issues of the day. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's all of us. All right. So uh, how, how did it turn out? Oh, zeros to all of you. Uh, <laughs> zeros. <laughs> There's a lot of zeros. Just, in the just Sorry. a fucking pack of white bread. The <laughs> the lot of yins. So uh, if you perceive yourself as fifteen to seventeen uh, percent, uh, uh, do we have a photo? Can we yep. can we see? We've got uh, it. In the first off, let's take a look at the other patients of yeah. the yeah. Photo. So Jen's just Holy. a fucking smoke show, like, <laughs> yes. and, uh, and these are definitely based on on the actual humans. Like, yes. like Jen really does look like she's about to pull out somehow seven pistols from her tight leather outfit. Yes, and and meanwhile, uh, uh, Heaton. Definitely looks like he's about to solve seven chess puzzles at the same time yep. in the middle of a Reading crime chess. heist. Yes. So and they look. Like a million right? bucks, yeah, uh, uh, looking fantastic, and mine looks really, really good too. Mm -hmm. I think it looks really good. I just think it looks anywhere between five and twenty percent more ethnic <laughs> than okay. I do. Uh, clearly, you are the villain. <laughs> like, oh my god, you're you the bad that, guy. That says a lot about Hollywood, clear. and it says a lot about Hollywood that I'm very clearly the villain. By the way, I mean clearly you're. And the I one. feel like I've immediately proven my point. Uh, uh, why are, why do you look like Dracula? I didn't know. Of all the ethnicities, I didn't expect, uh, uh, uh Transylvanian to be the one. I, I'm, I, I didn't say which ethnicity. Yes, Brett. I, I mean, I'm seeing Oscar Isaacs. Where are you? I don't, uh, I don't see. No, dude. Wow. Uh, there's no doubt that you, uh, she's holding, uh, of, uh, uh, you, you're holding a fistful of cash. Uh, Andrew is, 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 uh, I don't know, holding the cure to COVID and, and Jen is, uh, uh, uh floating. <laughs> She's got a Pam Dauber look about her, a young Pam Dauber. She does. She does. No, I mean, and, and all right, but let's get back to me here. No, more, they, more or less ethnic than I am standing before I don't know. you. Uh, 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 this is a good question. Which ethnicity is the one with giant dark bags under their eyes? <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> Middle Eastern. It's it's the dude <laughs> from the Mummy. The the uh, the the which hero is guy. the ethnicity that's sad all the time, but also kind of angry. Jews. <laughs> yes. Which is the ethnicity? Uh, You're gonna okay. Ask him more. <laughs> <laughs> this is working out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're you're the you're a bad guy. A you bad are guy. a bad guy in this story. They didn't even like color correct you right. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very AI. desaturated. Do you think the AI just looked at your faces and figured out who's the villain and who the two <laughs> heroes are and decided to just, you know, color balance? Oh, I probably. Oh, so so, with that, so I would just be clearly just a, a malevolent force in both of their lives. I mean, there's no way you're not holding $50,000 in cash that you have no intention of actually giving to the heroes but are lying in order to get them to take somebody out. You're the third act reveal as the bad guy. This says so much about our working relationship. <laughs>
I mean, are you telling me I'm wrong? No, I know I look terrifying. <laughs> well, I mean, it's either either I look terrifying or I look like somebody that everyone's really excited to be there because I'm about to invest a, a sovereign wealth fund into their company. <laughs> Uh, okay, so which character you definitely show up early as the person with a righteous cause who turns out to be a terrible bad guy? Uh, who do you approach first? Is it Jen or Heaton? Well, no, uh, Jen's the star of the show right, based but, on but, this poster. So, but, but it seems like you would show up and and you would walk into Heaton's lecture and you're like, and that is why. No, everyone... it's one of those things where Jen is initially interested. Heaton gets way more interested than Jen. Yep. I double cross Heaton, and it is around then that Jen realizes that she's got to un. At the end of the second act, they've, yeah. they've hit rock bottom. Yeah. You seem to have gotten away. They decide yeah. to rally their forces. Eventually, they recruit me and Brett and Bryce and all of us. Eventually, way, way to write yourself a job. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it writes itself technically. Sure. Yeah, just yeah. Okay. A okay. magician, early thirties. <laughs> <laughs> early thirties. <30s. laughs> Bryce, next I'll, time, man. I'm going to do some push-ups. <laughs> R.I.P. to DVD. Ladies and gentlemen, Netflix is phasing out the concept of DVDs. The business that got them started is now going to be no more. It's only digital on demand mm -hmm. for Netflix. So uh, Tom Merritt texted us saying, hey, I want to... I want to sign up for the DVD thing and get one of the last DVDs and just never turn them back. And then uh, Justin was like, way ahead of you, bro. Yeah. yeah I, I uh, OG, I did that shit in college. I still have Netflix DVDs that I have just never sent back. Hey, Justin, one yeah. thing we did not discuss is uh, what bit of Netflix memorabilia are you holding on to? I believe. Is it 10 things I hate about you? No. <laughs> I, in fact, it's, it's oh, the double crosser. Fuck, fuck. fuck. I can't politics. remember the name of the movie, but it's kind of a fucked up movie. So it's not even <laughs> anything to brag about. Was, it's, was it Chrono Crimen? No, it's... Mac Time Mac Crimes? It, it has the word cabin in it, and I think it's the one where Kevin Bacon got molested as a kid, and now he's he's like dealing with it. It's like, like an emotional movie. Somebody look it up. But it, the Kevin Bacon got molested as a kid movie. So that was the third act heel turn. <laughs> <laughs> you are a villain. No, comedy. somebody knows this. It has cabin, because I, I want to say the woodsman. That's it. The woodsman. I have a <laughs> DVD oh. of the woodsman. <laughs> Would you like from to Netflix? Uh, and they ain't getting it back. <laughs> Would I thought you like to joking. publicly apologize to Netflix <laughs> for keeping your copy of The Woodsman? Yeah, zoom in on me. Here we go. <laughs> Where am I going? Am Over I here? there. Yeah, there. You All go. right, here. Here we go. <laughs> just, just Netflix. Right across the room. It's me, Justin Robert Young. I'm 15% ethnic, <laughs> and I prefer that you take that into consideration when lobbying your punishment i kept a copy of the woodsman <laughs> when i was in college and now i'm a full-grown adult and i ain't never giving it back <laughs> i'm not planning on giving it back but i'd still like to watch stranger things <laughs> if you could find it in your heart to not cancel my account i'd like it also, I suspect that you've been charging me an extra $3 <laughs> on my subscription since I didn't send it back. So you probably made somewhere between 80 and 90 times what it cost you to make that DVD <laughs> since I kept it. Now I'm mad at you. <laughs> And 15% of my anger is very spicy and doesn't forget. <laughs> Fuck you, Netflix. <laughs> but, uh, I'll see you in hell. <laughs> Good apology. Good apology. Good, Good apology. apology. Yeah, right. Come on. Hey, Bryce. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do some push ups. What should we talk about next? Okay. Here's our next time. Fascinating first impression. Oh, this is more fucked up shit about me. So, um,. So, I have gotten fascinated with various different subreddits lately. Uh,. A few of them, I guess, it's been recommending me subreddits because I follow the r slash roast me subreddit. Are you familiar Ugh. with r slash roast me? I, I've dabbled, but then I decided I liked not being sad all day. 
See, I like m people being mean. It makes me happy to see other people <laughs> being <brand>. mean. <laughs> That's so, weird because I just saw a movie poster where you look like a very friendly individual. <laughs> <laughs> At least for the first act. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I like roast me just because I'm like, oh, I wonder what joke I would come up with. And then I see whether or not the joke is funnier. And then I feel good about myself if I came up with a funnier joke. Then it started recommending to me other subgenre versions of that subreddit, which A, requires true bravery by people that post and say, please make fun of me, right? It requires- uh, roast, roast me does. Roast me does. Like, you know what you're walking into. You know what you're walking into. It, it, is, it is a totally fair thing. You are walking into gunfire. And then all the commenters are ranking each other on who, who was the most expert marksman in in that thing so it, like there is at least bravery on one side and skill on the other side these subs versions are weird like just genuinely odd and they are genuinely weird communities yeah give me some examples of ones that we're not going to explore what's my age or guess my age so people are just posting women are posting pictures of themselves <laughs> yeah, and they are having people guess their age and it is not cool to comment beyond a number. Like it is, it is part of that culture that you just say. So, so within the subreddit, it would be inappropriate to say, bro's feast, a little bit of a waddle, yeah. receding airline, blah, blah, blah. yeah, yeah. No, you, you are just saying 27, 31, right. 34. 46, blah, blah, blah. Like meanwhile, that, meanwhile secretly that. what it is, is it might, have, might as well be called DM me pics of your dick. Uh. I mean, look, again, it's an interesting one, but it's, it's not something that takes a lot of effort by the posters. And weirdly, I don't know what relationship these women that post on this forum have to it, aside from, like, I wonder if I look younger older than, or older, yeah. than, I, than I think, right? It's almost assuredly women because everybody looks 20 so you're like all right some of these women are 20 and some of these women are 30 and and they're going to have people say well you look x y or z the other one is doppelganger oh which is just they post a picture and then they say like oh who do i look like and so that again not a ton of high effort it's like oh anna kendrick or if they're oh, uh, specifically they're looking for celebrities that celebrities they that they have a passing like. resemblance <laughs> exactly <laughs> What, what like celebrity would you Carver. passively uh, <laughs> resemble? Would I passively resemble? Yeah. I mean, as ethnic as you feel like. Uh, Up to 15%. Somewhere uh, 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 between uh, uh, Maurice Chevalier <laughs> and uh, uh, Saddam Hussein. Uh, I would say <laughs> between those two, that's, that's yeah. where I lie generally. Um, the one that's the most fucked up. The one that is the most fucked up is first impressions. So, okay, if 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 roast me is seeking throw me all your arrows and what's my age or guess my age is seeking validation, eh, where is this one? This one is bizarre because roast me is like, okay, I know I'm brave for walking in and I know these people are going to be as mean as i'm asking for them to be as mean as possible right first impressions could be good could be bad you are just like it is true unhinged emotional warfare can, that has no rules can, can, can we dabble a little bit and see Bryce? some examples so well, here, here we go on... first impression judge redditors based solely on their picture and it's uh, worth noting that the top pinned posts are, <laughs> quote, a reminder of the rules and, quote, respect women. Okay. All right. Uh, just make sure. We so you might, you might imagine that, again, unhinged emotional combat happens on this forum. So we're and I have no idea why anybody would post to it. Like, you are, you are, you are going through some shit. If you, mostly women, are posting <laughs> on this site, I don't know why in your life you would want to add this kind of stress. Mostly I, women. But like, I, 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 sure, I don't know I'm why. Sure, I have sure. no idea like, why. Yeah, th there's no moment that they reveal their actual age. Like, haha, gotcha. I'm actually no, this, no, this is first impression. So okay. this is like you're asking people to judge you morally Got it. based on one picture. So Sh Bryce, uh, let's, let, Bryce let, let's take it away. Uh, so this is from uh, at Sugar Cat. 
posted about three hours ago. I'm nervous. Please be kind. Well, Brian, how would you describe that photo? That is a <laughs> that that is a very attractive well, little bit of thigh. Uh, 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 it looks almost like she's in a negligee in front of a garden. Uh, a glamour shot. Would, it, would that be safe to say? That, yeah. That, I, I mean, to be honest, uh, um, it, it wouldn't surprise me if this is an aspiring model. This is an attractive person with a symmetrical body and face. Now, here's what um, uh, immediately what draws me to the subreddit is because I have no idea whether or not the top post is going to be positive. Oh, you're clearly you're you're clearly gorgeous. Uh, uh, maybe blah 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 blah. I don't know. Some some minute body thing. Or if it's going to be, you are clearly a vacuous person because you are coming to this uh, forum. Let, let, let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. All right. So the top comment here from at Fideza says, uh, you remind me of a fairy or a nymph. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's good. Nice. Yeah, this, this, right? The second yeah. top comment uh, from Prof Dynamite. Yeah, you look nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so here, immediately, immediately, they start picking away, picking away. First, you look like a fairy or a nymph. Oh my God, gorgeous! It's amazing. Is what you would want to hear. A, a stranger on the internet said the thing in her head. This is absolute magic and beauty. You look nervous. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you know where it goes from here? No. Oh, no. This is the beauty of this form. This happens. This kind of shit happens every day, my friend. Right. Here are a couple more comments here. We've got uh, this from at logical limit 4495. Beautiful with uh, heart eyes emojis. And then cultural scallion 557 saying you don't like super large groups or people because they lack intimacy. To which Sugar Cat says true. Yeah. Uh, that's this is a curious thing, is that the, the original poster, the OP, is is responding to all oh, these. They all respond. Okay. All right. They Bryce, get, all get, get. respond. Uh, there's some more here. Uh, uh, you kind of look like Heather Graham. Uh, I am always kind to woodland folk. Uh, nice. You shouldn't be nervous. You're stunning. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Should be in an oil painting. All right. Put it away. <laughs> 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 Awkward slash insecure. So that's. that's uh, 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 let, let's see one more and then we'll ex uh, unpack why Justin is attracted to this. Okay. Uh, the, oh boy, there's a lot of women on this one, huh? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. All right. Here's. Uh, uh, this I know what that means. From at Katie. Uh, Katie Skeet. Oh, Katie's cute. I get it. I'm nervous, but first impression. Oh, my God. It, 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 Brian, how would you describe this person? It's yet another attractive, symmetrically faced young person. Mostly women. How would you compare her to the first one? Uh, 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 equally symmetrical and attractive, only she's in a car. So I suspect. So clearly not a glamour shot. I suspect. This is more of like, like felt cute, my delete later selfie. They're, they're about to eviscerate this person. I feel like. You feel, why do you feel like? Because it, it, it smells a little bit less effort than the first one. Okay. First one was a lot of effort. But sometimes Reddit attacks effort. Yes, I agree. Sometimes they reward you, something nobody more knows. natural. It's controversial. Now do you see why I like this forum? <laughs> okay, go on. Uh, the top comment from beloved Hefizba. You give me a southern girl vibe. You're spicy and not afraid to stir the pot. No reply. No replies. No, no replies. Reply. What's next? The second comment from Interesting You says, Braddy. <laughs> <laughs> no replies. No replies. Uh, we've also got a sultry here. Uh, you look like you have a quote boyfriend in the military. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. See, this shit is fucked up. Why? I don't know why anyone's here. This is why I'm fascinated with the subreddit. I am baffled by every person's involvement. I'm baffled by the people posting. I'm baffled by the people that are commenting. I, I, I am totally confused as to why. I think I saw the real answer in the chat. Somebody suggested nobody is actually posting their own photos here. Oh, it's all karma uh, yeah. whoring. Yeah. Well, but also like people dig through the the histories of those accounts, and sure. they. Although I don't know whether or like, not the mods example, are I, like uh, I don't know. Let's say you wanted to run a commercial bot farm. This would be a good way to run up some karma is to just scrape some photos uh, and put them up there. Have people upvote. I don't download. know. Brett, Brett is Brett is shaking his head. He thinks that this is genuine. Uh, I think it's genuine, but it does remind me very much of Emily in Paris, which is. Garbage, 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 Isn't garbage. Isn't it Emily and I in Paris? Watching it, and I just, 
And I and I will say it out loud as I'm watching this show, Emily in Paris. But what is it? I How will say yeah. this is absolute garbage. As and you yet, continue I'm to watch in third season right now, yeah. watching Emily in Paris, which is garbage. Yeah. All right. And this is the same thing. <laughs> garbage. Uh, uh, Bryce, I, I I don't feel like I can offer judgment uh, upon either Brett nor Justin. Do you want, just want to give? The, us are, are you guys judgment? going to be subscribing to this subreddit? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's, this Brian. Is no. Perverse. No. I don't. It's weird, right? It's it's why weird. Are, yeah, I agree, yeah, Justin. Help me, help me unpack why it's fucking weird. It's weird that you like it. It's voyeuristic. Well, I, yes, obviously, I'm a fucking sicko. Like, it, uh, uh, it, I'm, I'm, I'm totally into that. It is, like, objectively voyeuristic, right? All yes. you're doing is inserting yourself into this dynamic between the one and the many. And you're not participating, right? It's nope. not like you're leaving the comments. So nope. you're not even part of the group. You're mm -hmm. just, a, you're just a, the guy in his trench coat looking from the behind the bushes. Ooh, ooh, what's your age? What's your age again? Oh shit! Like, I think we just unpacked wait. where that fifteen percent comes from. No, I'm I'm wow. watching other people He's say what's your age creeper. again. Yeah, yeah, I'm creeping on both of that. Like yep. I'm creeping on somebody else creeping, yeah. saying what's your age again. Two I'm times. feeling better and better it's about times. meta. Two times. That that AI generated image is looking better and better now. Brian, I got thirty million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I know where you can put that. You could shove it right up your Patreon.com <laughs> slash great night. That's where you get your own RSS feed. You get early access to every nope, you don't get yeah. you don't get jack no. shit. Fuck you. You get the bonus. <laughs> You get the both podcast. You get access to the left. My first impression of you is that you don't know the Patreon read. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do some push-ups. Oh, uh, damn it. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can head on over to patreon.com slash great night. Get the bonus episode. The bones, as they call it, right there for you each and every Thursday. We have fun here, folks, and you can too. Patreon.com slash great night. 60. What up, Bryce? You got a game for us? I do have a game for us. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the middle of the show. Uh, <laughs> it, is, uh, Smooth. it is that time for one of our favorite games. It's Apologizes for. Yeah. Oh! Can we switch sides? I don't Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Weird. Uh, we've I, I felt weird. It's, it's like, you know, the stranger. Yeah. <laughs> what up? Uh, I pulled some headlines of people apologizing for some of the bullshit that they've done over the past few weeks. I blanked out a few of the words. You're going to have to make a guess on what those blanks are. The closest, as determined by science, will get the point. And the game seems easy enough, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. See, Hell yeah. Easy to learn, hard to Hey, master. did we ever do this game before, Bryce? Uh, we have oh, We've done <laughs> many, many times before. But these no, are new no, no, this, this all of these game. This we have new questions okay, about. Ah, ah, well, yeah. guess what, fucko? Every episode from here on out, <laughs> every episode. You know what? I don't believe you could if you wanted to. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Forget. Oh, the reverse oh, slam! I don't think you oh, could if you wanted. Just fired. All right, Bryce, ready? <laughs> Kids these days. <laughs> Brett, do you mind keeping score for me? This is the kind of shit they I learn will. on TikTok. Shut it down, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Yeah. Uh, uh, the headline is, bah, bah, bah. Stop the Steel founder, Ali Alexander, apologizes amid allegations of blank blank. Oh. A little dance. That old yeah, standard. Uh, no, I think it was something about, like, molesting kids. What? or Yeah, it was something gross. Punching kids at a daycare. It wasn't punching. Uh, he wishes it was punching kids at a daycare. I apologize for punching kids. Yeah. No. I, I think was bored on a Tuesday afternoon. It was. It was child. Child. Tomfoolery. <laughs> but like, but like a bad version, like a very like you're like, like. How bad? Like, like bad version. Like, like yeah, like like like, like Dan Rather was saying it like. <laughs> Child, like Tom Fuller. child tomfoolery <laughs> continues to scourge <laughs> our world. Yeah, I just, <laughs> yeah, I touch, yeah, whatever encompasses that grossness. Okay. Uh, I, I would say the more general sexual misconduct. You say sexual misconduct. Oh yeah. Oh good. Yeah. Oh, so I get credit if, 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 if you're going to apologize for anything, yeah. it should be for misconduct. If you're going to apologize for any kind of misconduct, yeah. it should be sexual misconduct. Sexual. Yeah. 
Are you like selling it? <laughs> Make mine sexual misconduct. Hello, what everyone. Brian Rashford here for sexual misconduct. I, 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 Look, I, we all know you have to apologize for something, <laughs> and when you do, it better not be for an, uh, a specific. <laughs> hey, Brian, <laughs> I'm just looking for something to apologize for. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Shutting it down. Shutting it down. <laughs> shutting it down. I've never seen Justin make that face, but I think shutting it down was the exact right thing to do. <laughs> All right, we've got your answers here. Justin said child tomfoolery. Brian said sexual misconduct. We were looking for Stop the Steel founder Ali Alexander apologizes in mid allegations of texting team. Hey! Now, wait a minute. Per science, is that child tomfoolery or sexual misconduct? Child tomfoolery, I feel like. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. Let's go to science. <laughs> okay, that's a Justin Bull. Hey. <laughs> so we see. Uh, what was that? Who's that? It's a little dance. A little dance. That that thing? A little, no, it's a little, just a little, <laughs> little dance, man. Sometimes you get a little excited, you do a little All right. dance. All right, Bryce, I got to do 10 more push ups. What, what's my question? Okay, your question is uh, Brian Capcom apologizes for blank blank being removed from Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes on Steam. Whoa. Capcom apologizes for blank blank being removed. Do some push ups and I'll ask some questions about this generally. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. So Capcom. Uh, Capcom apologizes for uh, uh, blank being removed from the Resident Evil remake. So, so we we're presuming that these were things that were in the original Resident Evil two and three, Bryce. Uh, uh, would you? Yeah. S since when do you get to ask Alex Trebek? <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. If I were to uh, filling time for you to do push-ups. <laughs> okay. How are those push-ups? What the again? fuck, man? You're <laughs> criticizing my fill. <laughs> Um, apologizes for blank blank being removed from Resident Evil two and three remakes on Steam. It sounds like it's a specific character. Um, Do you know any Resident Evil characters? No. You know There's what? There's that one. I'm gonna say the evil resident <laughs> was removed from Resident Evil two and three, and they're like, "Whoops, that was our bad, people." You're a real we gamer. <laughs> You're a real gamer, Bryce. So, real like, what's gamer. your what's what's the the famous line from the evil resident? <laughs> that famous iconic line from the evil resident in Resident Evil 2. <laughs> he had that big moment, you know, you just Yeah, you oh, clear, no, no, I remember, yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he walks up and he, he opens up a suitcase and says, I have $75,000 if you if I have your interest. And then it turns out to be a heel turn third act. It's you. Nope. Fuck, what a turn. I, <laughs> I was you, not expecting that. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I, you, I, I have no idea. Re Resident Evil is a zombie-esque game. Uh, I'm going to say removing... You know what? I'll say graphic gore. I'm going to say that they softened oh. it up, and then people protested, and they were like, fine, here's, yeah. your, here's your guts, lady. Got you. <laughs> Dustin, Capcom apologizes for blank blank being removed from Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes on Steam. It's two words. Two words. Silent Hill. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's... I saw a suspiciously quiet uh, mountain in the background. <laughs> that's, that's a really funny answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got our answers here. Brian said graphic gore. Justin said Silent Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Capcom apologizes See, for... See, someone's got to do the cool gamer jokes. Ray tracing. Ray tracing. What, Ray... Why did they remove it, Bryce? It was a mistake. Uh... <laughs> they, yes, they didn't mean to. Did you guys not know that I did voices for all the Capcom games? Uh, I no. was the evil resident. Were you? I was the evil you know resident. How Actually, did you I, not know? You were the evil resident. Yep. I, wow. I did, uh, well, what was your classic line? Get back to the dorm. That was the, the line. And then you just kept saying that in that boss fight? Yeah. Get back to the door. door. Yeah. Stop, yeah. stop looking at that flashing yellow light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 uh. See? Get back to the door. Get back to the door. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce? There we go. Uh, because you said the word graphic, Brian gets the point hey! on this one. Tie game, tie game. I thought her last name was Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. <laughs> I mean, I can't. Fucking three movies, I thought. Yeah, no. Whatever. All right. Fucking... Look, I've, I've had too many children to not, let, to not approve of a dad joke. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> Third question here, Justin, we're going to go to you on this one. Uh, Commissioner of Police apologizes for early morning blank blank. Of course, we do have more info on these as well. If you Yeah, like. give me more info. Uh, the Belize City Commissioner of Police, Chester Williams, said in an apology, quote, the Belize Police Department take this opportunity to apologize to those motorists who were using the Philip Goldson Highway this morning between the hours of 7 and 9 a.m. Commissioner of Police apologizes for early morning blank blank. Um, crime drill. They were they were look they have these mandatory Ooh, actually, that's, crime that's drills yeah. where they have to throw a bunch of crime on the streets <laughs> and then and then they deal with it and they're like get this crime out of here Johnson Johnson fucking move asshole and they're like doing it but they didn't realize that it was rush hour and uh, uh, so they fucked up and they were like fuck man now we got to clean all this crime for real and it was just a mess such a mess and and so now they apologize for it we all saw it in usa today it was in the infographic <laughs> uh early morning actually i think drill is, is is solid um early morning i'm gonna say no knock raid <laughs> wow for the first time ever a police department is gonna apologize apologize for, the for fact early that they, morning they no knock like, raid. you know what uh we should probably knock that off Fucking Afro man just his hands up like <laughs> for uh, real lemon pound cake lemon pound cake. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I'll say I'll say something raid. Uh, I'll say no knock raid, but I think I think you nailed it with uh, crime drill, drill. Drill. You think crime drill? Oh yeah, dude. Ever since that uh, that 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 lethal weapon follow up crime drill. <laughs> I don't know, Riggs. I'm getting too old for these I read, drills. I read a really good uh, feature story about drill the the internet, the Twitter commenter. Oh yeah, the comedian guy. You know, you know, oh, drill, no, I, yeah. Wint, drill, Man. weird Twitter's Pope. Keep keep going. Uh, uh, I'm not owned, I'm not owned. I keep saying as I shrink into a corn cob. <laughs> All right. Have uh, you, ever, uh, you, ever, you ever seen this? Uh, you seen I, this? I, <laughs> I'm here for it. Tell me the no, story. Yeah, no, it's just a weird Twitter account yeah. that uh, uh, the Ringer just did a a really good uh, bio on him. Did like, it the real out? guy? It was was it who I think it was? Drill. Yeah. Did they reveal who it is? Yeah. It's just a guy named Paul. Uh, I'll say the first name. You say the second name. Sure. Yeah. Barack Hussein. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> yep. PHH. Okay. Price. PHH. Yes. Okay. Your answers for uh, crime drill, said Justin, and no knock raid, said Brian. We were looking for the commissioner of police apologizes for early morning bum, 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 traffic jam. Oh, man. Which is traffic jam closer to? <laughs> no knock raid mm. or, or a crime, crime drill. drill. Mm. I'm going to have to put this into my computer here. My Hate science. to be science. Wait, can we wait? We can't hear the, any more details on it? I already gave you the details. Uh, well, uh, not any details that would fucking inform the answer. I'm going to do push-ups. Did he apologize? He said he uh, using the highway between the hours of seven and nine a.m. We uh, 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 let me put this in the computer while. All right, go ahead. Eighty. You can see I'm stumbling as I get up now. Eighty. Oh, okay. Because it was not a drill. Brian gets the point on that one. Hey. What the fuck was it? It was a traffic jam. Just uh, a tra so the police apologized for a traffic jam. So they made a. They, I guess uh, they had a VIP politician in the country, and they set up a blockade a oh, little I, too early. I I saw one of those in progress. We were uh, on I twenty east of Dallas, and um, oh, this is not a joke. Uh, so it'll be boring at the end. But we were driving along, and all of a sudden, <laughs> just this fucking okay. sea of cops comes in, and they're like, "Woo woo!" They scream. They're like, "Get over! Get over!" And and. Uh, we're on our way to a magic show, so we pull over, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six. We count up to like 23 cop cars, and then one Lincoln Town car, and then 23 more cop cars. Yeah. And uh, we're like, that was weird. Uh, later that day, we found out that uh, the story we were told, I, I don't know if it's true, is that uh, uh, whoever's uh, the president of Pakistan or whatever, apparently mm. his favorite uh, uh, a heart surgeon or whatever lives in Paris, Texas, ah. and he was like, "I'm gonna go to Dallas. Just do me a favor, shut down all the streets so I can go see my friend who I saw in college." 
They're a Damn. little fussy with presidents there. Yeah. Wait, in Paris? In Dallas. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Bryce. <laughs> yeah. Just say When he's right, he's right. So, uh, hey, when you're right, you're right. And when he's right, he's right. You're right. People don't forget. Mm -mm. All right, we got another one here for you. Uh, before we do that here, uh, we've got in the chat. Womp, womp. <laughs> After three rounds, uh, what is the score, Brett? The score is Justin has one point oh. and Brian has two points. I, Deuces, baby. Brett, Damn. I, I'd like you to take a look at just if I can just for a second. Wait. I can, Brett, I'd like you to take a look at the desk in front of you yeah. because I, I set out a yeah, prop what specifically the fuck, for Brett, you today. Oh. Brett, no, further down, further down the table. Okay. Oh, I didn't it? know that was for me. Who else would it be for? I don't know. You, you know, you know what? Shenanigans I happen I here when I'm not around. Okay, well, if you'd like, right, pretend this assist. is a crime. It was funny because the second one, I really didn't know the answer. I know, so I was like, yes. Yeah, so for the audio Brett, listeners, Brett, yeah, Brett, oh Brett, wow, yeah. Pretend this is a crime drill and just set it up. <laughs> you know what? Better yet, pretend it's a no knock raid. <laughs> Uh, it's a scoreboard, everybody. It's a physical scoreboard. Okay. I put Bryce, it in front of me. Bryce set up a scoreboard for Brett so we would never lose track. And then proceeded to not tell me. Look, I had it no, set up. Hey, it was a tent hey, in front of no, no bad ideas in a brainstorm. That's right. This is, no, this, this is a no blame workplace. We're all good here. It's fine. We're all friends here. We're all all right, Bryce. All... Okay, fourth round. Yeah. Who's excited for it? Uh, we're going to start with Brian. Brett, on what's one. your first Ready. impression of Bryce? A uh, Bryce? Yeah. If you're gonna post on Reddit, Bryce just posted a Bryce to a pose that you would post on Reddit. Uh, no. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> what, what? Yeah. What, what's, your, what's your first impression? My first impression was this, but uh, but no, come on! Up. I didn't post that, that photo. I posted this photo. Don't comment. don't cancel me. What is? Yeah. All right. <laughs> he doesn't know how to do it. All right. Bryce, Whose turn is it? It is uh, Justin's turn. Justin, you're... Hell yeah. Oh, no, it's Brian's turn first. Sorry. Justin. Fuck. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> your headline. Justice, but now it's the opposite. Injustice. Oh, injustice. <laughs> it's like a traffic jam. Fucking, yeah. Of justice. It's like a, yeah, like a no-knock raid on my heart. <laughs> it's a crime <laughs> drill in the cavity of my yeah. teeth. Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah. Bryce. <laughs> okay, Je Brian, your headline is bah, bah, bah. Opposition Leader Apologizes for Blank Blank Scandal. This is from our friends over at Red Dress. Everybody knows about the Red Dress, am I right? No. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, thank you, Jeff. Not everybody uh, knew that one. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Bryce, I'm, I, 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 I'm gonna need some more info on that. Okay, this is from our friends over at uh, uh, what's the website here? At uh, KoreanHerald.com. Ah, oh, we've all been there. <laughs> South Korea's Democratic Party Chairman Lee Jae Myung asked for his predecessor to return to South Korea and apologized, saying, I'm asking the investigative authorities to be quick and impartial, free of political considerations. The Democratic Party will bear the responsibility and take corresponding action on verified evidence. Op op Opposition leader apologizes for blank blank scandal. I, the only Korean scandal that I know involved horses and psychics, so I'm going to say psychic horse scandal. Is a psychic horse scandal? Yeah. That's okay. Very heating. <laughs> Got your answers here. This horse can tell your future. <laughs> what was the scandal about? So the scandal that the scandal that I remember was their outgoing president that had like an almost Svengali like uh, a personal psychic in his or entourage. Yeah, uh, uh, what, what was the name of the uh, uh, Russian whisperer who is immortal? Rasputin. Yeah, 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 like that kind of thing. So it was like a Rasputin kind of thing, and then he also took bribes from Samsung. Yeah. And they had bought multiple horses for his daughter, to if count, I remember to correct. Count, to count the votes. Well, because smart they, they, like they, a they, horse. They would say, just clop however many votes there are. <laughs> and, and clop, 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 clop. We're running up the margins. <laughs> clop, yeah. clop, 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 clop. It's a blind slide. <laughs> clop, 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 clop. Yeah. Hooray. The psychic says, I saw it coming. <laughs> 
Yeah. It's packed. I think it's hell shit. Fuck me. Okay, yeah. Either that or a red dress. <laughs> Come on, red dress. Psychic horse <laughs> or a red dress. Okay. Uh, apparently, Korean horse scandal does not find whatever it is you're talking about, unfortunately. What the fuck? For real? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nah, people know what this What about one. Korean red dress? Oh, I, w I really didn't look that one up. That wasn't... Yeah, because it's the answer. Well, so let's find out what we were looking for. Opposition leader apologizes for... Bah, 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 cash envelopes. Oh, ah, yes. The red dress of envelopes. What is this? A fucking... <laughs> Uh, I I I know they had Italian weddings and fucking <laughs> in Seoul. All I'm gonna say is I'd hate to be science right about now, <laughs> trying to decide whether cash envelope is closer to psychic horse, horse or, or red dress. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to put this one in the. I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the computer. Shh. Yeah. Beep boop. Beep. Beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there we go. Oh, science said psychic horse. Psychic hey! horse. Hey! Oh, oh. So the thing that wraps around a giant body of cash is closer to a psychic horse than it is a red dress. Call me now. I'm going to do push ups. I'm at 80. All right. All right. Go ahead, Bryce. Go next. And it's time for our final. I'm on a fucking roll. And for our final question here, the score is all tied up. Brett, what is the score all tied up? The score, I know. Thank you, Bryce. Okay. I, I, look, I'm doing the thing. What's the score, Brett? The score is two to two. Two to two. 90. Man, 90. All right, this you is our... I don't even have the camera on me after I'm... I flipped the thing. I know, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, well, it's time for our final round. This is for, of course, 15 points. Oh, damn. Hell yeah. Still anybody's game because it's tied. We'll just go in order. Justin, we'll start with you on this one. Yep. You're goddamn bum, bum, right. Lubies apologizes for blank blank, excuse me, blank blank joke in promotion for ham dinners. There's two blanks there. Lubies <laughs> apologizes for blank <laughs> blank joke in promotion. Is for Lubies ham only in Texas or is it all throughout the South? Uh, it's it's. I know it's pr predominantly in predominantly Texas. a Texas chain. I also of know diners. my the father in law worked there and was a manager. So a manager at a Lubies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever you want to say, right? I believe it's all Texas. All Texas. All the time. Also, escape the great fast food reckoning of the pre-show. Because that's more the of a diner, through. right? That's, that's correct. Luby's, Luby's is a diner for yeah. folks who are not in Texas. Also, the reason why on King of the Hill, the... Uh, they call it Lu Luli's? Luann Platter. Luann yeah. Platter. Is, is, is her Luann name. Pl named after yeah. dish at Luby's. Oh, Luan the the, uh, the character from yeah. the show correct. is named yep. after the dish at Luby's. Yep. They don't have like a Luby's stand in or anything like I that. I think they have a Luli's in there. Yeah. Luli's is their Luby's on King of the Hill. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So everybody who's not in Texas, you're welcome. I, I, I still, filled I still you do in not on know the why content. Anybody who did not grow up in Texas finds that show funny. But, but if you did grow up in Texas, it's fucking it's hilarious. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Justin, <laughs> Luby's apologizes for blank, blank joke in promotion for ham dinners. What are you thinking? Oh, man. So, all right. Bad things that you can joke about at hams. Um, <laughs> Coming in at number five. <laughs> <laughs> fucking a pig. Uh, fucking a pig. Number is, four. Uh, they are uh, not ham. They're not hamburger. Very they're like ham. <laughs> number three. Uh, <laughs> they. Uh, 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 Ham is gross <laughs> if you leave it outside too long. <laughs> Number two, most inappropriate joke about hams that Luby's probably made. Uh, they, that that this ham <laughs> is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> And coming in at number one, the most controversial number thing one. Luby's has ever said about a ham. Kosher Jews can't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> um, there you go. All right. We, uh, I'm, that, did we got your answer for that one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. All of those all are my answers. <laughs> <laughs> Up to and including this ham is haunted. <laughs> Fit him in two spaces. Haunted ham. Sorry. It's the final... <laughs> Special dispensations are made for science. Oh, yeah, Luby's say... apologizes for blank blank joke. Mm, no, it wouldn't be a trichinosis joke. Uh, something a joke. Huh. Uh, All right, thing that you run 
You're Doug Lubies. <laughs> okay, right. look, I'm glad you're here, sir. Listen, I know it's your first day. I'm Doug Luby. <laughs> I'm glad you recognized me. Listen, hey, man. it's me. Oh, I'm oh. Lubies now. You are 50% more ethnic than I was looking for. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll work in the back. You want to think about that one? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say this bit. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say. Uh, 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 Luby's apologizes for blank blank joke in promotion for ham dinners. Nutrigenics promotion. <laughs> Big hurt. <laughs> Doug Flutie. Doug Flutie. Yep. Nutrigenics promotion. Yep. Big hurt. It was really Doug tasteless. Flutie. Code, Code allow <laughs> permit. <laughs> Why yep. are y'all hurting the sign so much? So look, so. he got, I got five, he got five. It's Nutrigenics Promotion, <laughs> Big Hurt, Doug Flutie, Code Allow, and Low T. Yep. We uh, each get five. I'm stick, I'm we each it. get five. That, that lands. <laughs> okay, we'll figure that Hate out. Be science. I, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> that defeat. We've got your answers here. So uh, some of the words that they said included haunted ham for Justin and the Nutrigenics promotion for Brian. I think Luby's really, they love this show, so they knew that those would get some some uh, some traction here. Uh, okay, well, we had the headline, Luby's apologizes for ba -ba -ba Amber Alert. Oh, my God. Oh. Amber Alert! You know what's weird is in their apology, they explained we <laughs> should have known that it should have been a silver alert joke because yeah. we're lubies. Because you're lubies. Oh, wow. the Amber Alert people go there. I got yeah. that joke. Yeah. I got so, that. Yeah. 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 Although yeah. weird of mine does point out, it's probably a bad guess if you're thinking about the Get our new low tea ham dinner. <laughs> uh, what what do you think? What was the Amber Alert joke? Uh, do you want to guess before I show you? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, Amber Alert. Uh, no, you want no? We don't. We don't want to guess. We're not <laughs> okay. guessing. Right. We okay. guessed enough. Okay. So uh, uh, this was uh, a text message alert. This was a, a, a text message marketing. Uh, ham dinner package, one hundred twenty nine ninety nine. Okay, get a whole ham, two sides, uh, and then the text that goes with it. Lubies. Hamber alert! Oh. Ham dinners <laughs> spotted at Luby's. Order here. <laughs> yeah. Followed by Hamber alert. <laughs> followed by the apology. We believe in owning our mistakes. We really apologize <laughs> for the insensitive language and the promotion you received. Meanwhile, the rest of us are like, that's a solid joke. It's, we will it's do better. Actually, a pretty solid joke. We will do better. Maybe, maybe Luby's will have us as a sponsor. <laughs> oh, we please, Luby, Luby's, Luby's. <laughs> Please, look at Luby's. Oh my God! God yes. Yes. Come on, Luby's. You need to apologize. You need to uh, appeal to a whole new demographic. Uh, well, and uh, I'm 15 percent of it. <laughs> <laughs> science. What say you? Well, let me put this in my science computer, and we'll figure it all out. Shh, 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 shh. Beep, beep. 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 Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks like. Uh, oh, it's it's actually giving me an audio answer for what? this. Uh, wow. Uh, Justin, it says that your answer is. Doing my dance. Doing my dance. And Doing my dance like a slutty scarecrow. Doing the dance. <laughs> and with 17 points, your winner is Justin Robert. Yeah! Yay. If you have an idea for a game, please send it into our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com. That's where you can send emails, games, ideas, comments, responses, whatever you like. Send us some nice words there or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program. Thank you. Uh, Brett, what did we learn today? Well, Brian, we've learned. Oh, it's been that a great ethnicity night, a great is a positive night, thing. And, and having a lack of ethnicity can be a negative thing. Brian, you know I also, I thanks, know Adam Carolla. <laughs> also, we've learned that Brett should write these down <laughs> <laughs> during the show. <laughs> 
sir. <laughs> Probably had a bad first impression of Bryce, and now he's apologizing for it. <laughs> <laughs> and three. Three. And three. <laughs> and three. <laughs> always uh, never uh, forget to check your references. Always know that when Kamala Harris <laughs> Hamber knows <laughs> alerts. Okay. Uh, you know what? <laughs> still, still a great night. Still a great night. Shine on you crazy diamonds. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna do some push-ups. <laughs> No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, greater night. Woo! That's a hundred, y'all. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>